100 Jams, where hit music lives. Locked in the midday chop up right here with your girl, Erin Rain. Dex adapts in the mix with no underwear. Right about now, you know it's all about Chat Trap, letting you know what's happening in the media. And you know what's going on, man. Keeping up to date with everything. So right now, let's talk about it. So it's been about... 15 months since cruise ships had stopped sailing due to COVID-19, but now they're starting to again. And just yesterday, the first cruise ship, Celebrity Millennium, sailed from North America with more than 95% of its passengers and the entire crew fully vaccinated, making it the largest COVID-19 vaccinated cruise in the world thus far. All adult passengers on the Celebrity Millennium were required to show proof of vaccination before boarding the ship, as well as present negative PCR test to enter St. Martin and Barbados. So the ship, which usually holds more than 2,000 persons, is operating at about 30, 30% capacity and there will be no mask or social distancing required because the occupancy is low. Therefore, the guests are going to have plenty of space. Now, I'm wondering with that, okay, they already got fully vaccinated and they still had to take a PCR test aboard the cruise ships. Just, of course, you know, so they can get into the other countries that they'll be stopping to. That's a bit odd to me. I'm just saying, if you're fully vaccinated at this point, why are we still taking PCR tests? But anyhow, that's a conversation for another day. But moving on to further news, there's been some conversation about Fast and Furious and Jurassic World collaborating. And I think this is a very random one. But this crossover seems very, very quite just a little bit odd. But Jurassic World is searching for that epic ending. And currently, the Jurassic World franchise is in a bit of a tough spot because the last film, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, grossed over 1.3 billion worldwide, but it was criticized heavily. And many reviews critiqued the film for lacking any real weight in the action sequence. And the action sequences resulting in a very expensive looking thrill ride without a much actual punch. However, for the last movie that will end it all, they're considering wiping out the dinosaurs once more or creating some sort of human dino harmony. But unfortunately, neither option is particularly original or compelling. So this is why they're deciding to bring on the Fast and the Furious. And I wonder if they're really going to do it with them or they're probably going to find another media, uh, another movie to collaborate with. But I think this will be something that's pretty cool to see some of your favorite, you know, actors and actresses come together. I think it'd be pretty dope, honestly. It's quite odd, but I think they'll honestly have a really good turnout, and this is something that will bring them more money. $1.3 billion, I think they can beat that if they go ahead and add Fast and Furious. But as we know, Fast and Furious F9 will be released this month, and I have been waiting for it. It's Fast and Furious number 9, and we've been doing this for a very long time with them, watching everyone. If you watched everyone... And then you're a true fan. But this is the Fast Saga. It will be out June 25th in theaters. So I'm hoping the IMAX got that because I'm ready to go and see it. But that's it for Chat Trap. Letting you know what's happening in the media. And you know it's all about Gemini season. And today is Mr. Kanye West's birthday. And he actually just turned 43 years old. So if you play your numbers, play that today. If you win something, just give me a little piece. A couple of dollars could do. At least buy me lunch. I'm just saying. I help you out. (laughs) But letting you know what's going on right there. Jumping back into the mix. Go on, throw it back to one of my favorite Kanye West singles right now. Good life with T-Pain.